Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is back from the holidays and has rolled out their first insider preview build for this year, which is build 26020, and that's to insiders in the Canary Channel, which rolled out on the 3rd of January, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, there's quite a lot going on uh, in the Canary Channel for this week. So if you are interested, just have a quick look as to what Microsoft calls hot off the presses and what's new in build 26020. Now, first of all, um, there are extended languages, multi-display support and custom commands for voice access. And just to focus on each of these individual features um, that is rolled out with this latest Canary Channel build. Now, first of all, they have extended voice access regarding extended language support to support other languages like French, French Canada, German, Spanish, and Spanish Mexico. And Microsoft says that um, when voice access is turned on for the first time, you will be prompted to download a speech a model to enable on-device recognition of voice data. And in case voice access does not find a speech model match in your display language, you can still choose to proceed ahead to use voice access in English United States, which is the default if your language is not found as one of those downloaded languages. So that's extended language support. And then we get multi-display support where um, Microsoft says you can now use all voice access features on multiple displays, including number and grid overlays, which were previously unavailable on any display other than the primary one. So basically, the grid overlay feature has been further developed, Microsoft says, to allow you to not only interact with the screen you are currently using, but also quickly switch to another display. And you can also use the drag and drop feature to move files, apps, and documents from one display to another. And what we're looking at here is um, after enabling the grid overlay, um, you can quickly shift to focus to another display. So you can shift focus to another display and you can use either the, the alphabet or NATO phonetic in your command. As an example, what we're looking at here, uh, B or Bravo as shown in these screenshots supplied from the release notes for this latest Canary Channel build. And then something else to take note of, moving to the next screenshot, uh, you can also use the accelerated command, Microsoft says, mouse grid, to quickly move your mouse to a specific point on a specific display. So those are some improvements regarding uh, multi-display support. Now moving on to voice shortcuts. They are introducing um, voice shortcuts or custom commands, as they're also called, to enable you to create your very own command. Now, this is currently available if you use voice access in English, so it's only available in English. And by the way, just on a side note, these voice shortcuts, um, there's a good chance that this is also going to be rolling out with a soon-to-be-released Moment 5 update for Windows 11, which we are expecting to see first roll out at the end of next month, February 2024. Now, getting back to voice shortcuts in the Canary channel, Microsoft says to get started, say, what can I say? And click on the voice shortcuts tab on the left panel or use the command show voice shortcuts to directly launch the voice shortcuts page. Then click on the create command button to begin the process. And just, just a couple of screenshots regarding this process. And yeah, you can see this is uh, creating a new custom command to use in voice access. And the next one, if we just zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better in the video, this is an example of uh, selecting one or multiple actions for a custom command in voice access. So quite a lot going on there uh, with uh, the voice shortcuts. And as mentioned, I think that's also going to be rolling out as part of the February Moment 5 feature update for Windows 11. Then the next is a natural voice voices previews in Narrator where Microsoft say they are introducing previews for natural voices of 10 new locales, locations launched in September 2023. And as a reminder, um, those natural voices include Chinese, Spanish, Spanish Mexico, Japanese, English, UK, French, Portuguese, English, India, German, and Korean. So 10 new locales that launched back in 2023, new natural voice previews in narrator. So these previews will allow... Uh, you to listen to the natural voices before downloading the voice model as we can see in the screenshot provided. 
Now, uh, moving on to the next, and I'm just going to mention um, these two next improvements quickly. Microsoft says that starting with this build, 26020, the WordPad and People apps will no longer be installed after doing a clean install of the OS. So as I've been posting, Microsoft is in the process of deprecating uh, some of the older legacy apps and starting to debloat Windows 11, which I always think is a good thing. And also Steps Recorder will not receive further updates and is planned for removal in a future Windows release. So a lot of older legacy apps are being deprecated. And this is also happening now in the Canary channel for this week, which I think is a good thing. Moving on to the next, and I do apologize for the image quality of this little screenshot, but if we zoom in here, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Microsoft says that for PCs that are plugged in and do not have batteries, such obviously as a desktop PC, when you turn on Energy Saver, which was previously called Battery Saver, it's now been renamed to Energy Saver, um, they are trying out a new energy saver icon, as we can see here uh, in the system tray in this screenshot, that is shown in the system tray to indicate energy saver is on. And I actually think this is a nice little move. It's just one of those small, but yet little significant changes that can just uh, make identifying a certain action in Windows a lot easier. So basically, that's that little energy saver icon that's shown now in the system tray in the latest Canary Channel Bold. Then moving on to the next, and this is regarding printing, where Microsoft says they've added the ability to pause and resume print jobs in print queue for printers under settings, Bluetooth, and devices, printers, and scanners, as we can see. This allow, allows you, Microsoft says, to pause printing when maintenance is required for your printer, just such as replacing a printer cartridge and then they carry on to say that jobs submitted are held by the spooler until the print queue is unpaused by clicking uh, resume in settings and the ability to rename your printer, Microsoft says directly, yeah, in these settings is coming in a later flight. So quite a lot going on there with printing. And I think um, being able to pause that printing, as we can see in the screenshot, I think would also be a small yet significant little change and a nice move, as I would say. And then moving on to the next, this is... Um, something that's rolled out in um, other uh, channels in the Insider program where the Windows Share window now supports sharing with WhatsApp. If you don't have WhatsApp installed, you can choose to install it from Windows Share window directly. As we can see in the screenshot provided, you've got this little install option if you don't have it installed. And over time, Microsoft says they plan to try this experience out with other apps as well. And that's regarding a bit of improvements regarding uh, Windows Share. And then moving on to the next, and this is for nearby sharing, which is the last screenshot we're going to look at for today's video, where Microsoft mentions again they are introducing the ability to quickly give your device a more friendly name to identify sharing to and from with nearby share under setting system nearby sharing. So you can basically um, uh, call it a more friendly name, which if you are using the feature, um, just makes identifying as they say, a lot more user-friendly. And then over and above those new features, changes and improvements, because it's the Canary channel, uh, there are a lot of fixes for known issues that have rolled out. And because it is the Canary channel, it's still very early days. And then we get a good couple of known issues for the start of this year, 2024. But more or less, that's what's new in this first and latest Canary channel build of 2024 build 26020. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.